Welcome back guys, this is The Waste back with another video on the channel. It's a very short and quick video about Python alias. So when you install Python on your Mac, you want to use Python, which is going to be Python 3.7.4 as of this recording, that's the latest. Now, Mac comes with Python 2 pre-installed and definitely you're going to be using Python 3 for all your development in in 2019 and onwards so when i type a python on a terminal dash dash space version i get to see python 2.7.16 and that's not what i want to use i want to use python 3. now you could actually access python 3 by typing python 3 space dash dash version but it's a bit annoying you have to type 3 and you don't want to do that because you don't really need python 2 for all your development work so what you need to do is you need to make sure that when you type python it access python 3 so we could achieve this by defining an alias for your terminal you could do that by using alias command but that's going to be available only for the current session of this terminal i want to set that permanently for that what you need to do is you need to open a file which is sitting on this part on your mac dot bash underscore profile okay now nano is a text editor whatever the text editor for your terminal is available you can use that it's up to you it doesn't really matter now in this file all you gotta do is type alias python equal to in double quotes type python 3 and also you want to set pip 3 to pip as well so alias pip equal to pip 3 now let's save the file and then just exit out. Now I'm going to close this session and I'm going to open the session again. Let's me zoom in a bit. And now if I type Python space dash dash version, I get to see I can access Python 3.7.4. This was quite annoying for me because I usually forget typing Python 3 or pip3. And I don't really need Python 2 at all. So I think it's going to help you if you're a Python developer or a beginner developer. Then this is going to help you. Alright, that was a quick and short video. I'm going to be creating some tips and tricks and, you know, bug related videos uh, a lot. So yeah, subscribe to the channel and give a like if you like the video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.